I'm so glad you've decided to join me today as we dive into the wonderful world of frugal living. In this video, I'll be sharing with you 10 frugal living tips that are sure to inspire and empower you. I promise you won't be disappointed. Tip one, borrow instead of buy. One of the most beautiful things about our communities is that we are all interconnected. We all have skills, knowledge, and resources that we can share with one another. And this is where borrowing comes in. Instead of buying something that you'll only use once or twice, why not reach out to your friends, family, or community members to see if they have what you need? You'll be surprised at how often people are happy to lend a helping hand. And borrowing isn't just limited to tools and appliances. You can also borrow books, movies, and games from your local library. Not only will you save money by not having to purchase these items, but you'll also have access to a wide range of resources that you may not have been able to afford otherwise. But the benefits of borrowing don't stop there. When you borrow instead of buy, you're also reducing waste and minimizing your carbon footprint. By sharing resources, we're all doing our part to create a more sustainable world for future generations. Tip two, sell unwanted items. We all have items lying around our homes that we no longer use or need. Instead of letting them gather dust, why not turn them into a source of income? Selling unwanted items can be a great way to declutter your space while also making some extra money. And the best part, you don't need to be a professional salesperson to make it happen. With the rise of online marketplaces like eBay and Facebook Marketplace, it's easier than ever to sell your unwanted items. All you need is a smartphone and a few good photos. But selling your items isn't just about making money. It's also a great way to give your belongings a second life. When you sell your items, you're giving someone else the opportunity to enjoy them and reducing waste at the same time. And if you're feeling particularly charitable, you can also donate your unwanted items to local charities or thrift stores. Not only will you be decluttering your space, but you'll also be giving back to your community. Tip three, focus on experiences, not things. Think about it. When was the last time you bought something that made you truly happy in the long term? Sure, that new gadget or piece of clothing may have brought you temporary joy, but that feeling quickly fades. On the other hand, experiences like travel, spending time with loved ones or pursuing hobbies and passions can bring us lasting happiness and fulfillment. And the best part, experiences don't have to cost a fortune. There are plenty of free or low cost activities you can do to create meaningful memories. Take a walk in nature, have a picnic in the park or explore your city on foot. These experiences may not come with a hefty price tag, but they can bring you more happiness than any material possession ever could. Focusing on experiences also means that we're less likely to fall into the trap of keeping up with the Joneses. We're not constantly comparing ourselves to others based on what we own or what we can afford. Instead, we're living life on our own terms, pursuing what truly makes us happy. Tip four, prioritize generic brands. When it comes to grocery shopping, it's easy to get caught up in the allure of name brand products. After all, we're bombarded with advertising that tells us that these products are the best of the best of the best. But in reality, there's often little difference between name brand and generic products. That's why it's important to prioritize generic brands when you're shopping. Not only are they often just as good as name brands, but they can also save you a significant amount of money. And who doesn't love saving money? But prioritizing generic brands isn't just about saving money. It's also about breaking free from the influence of consumerism. We're often taught to equate brand names with quality and status, but in reality, these associations are often based on nothing more than clever marketing. By choosing generic brands, we're making a conscious decision to value quality over branding. And let's not forget about the environmental benefits of choosing generic brands. Many generic brands use less packaging and are often produced with more sustainable practices than their name brand counterparts. By choosing generic brands, 
we're doing our part to create a more sustainable world. Tip five, grow your own produce. We'll get to that in a second. I have a favor to ask of you. If you like this video so far, please subscribe to the channel. When you grow your own produce, you have control over what goes into your food. You can choose to grow your fruits and vegetables organically, free from harmful pesticides and chemicals. Plus, you get the satisfaction of knowing that you're eating something that you grew yourself. But growing your own produce isn't just about saving money and eating healthier. It's also about connecting with the earth and becoming more self-sufficient. In a world where we're so reliant on convenience and technology, gardening allows us to slow down and reconnect with the natural world. And let's not forget about the environmental benefits of growing your own produce. By reducing your reliance on store-bought produce, you're reducing your carbon footprint and doing your part to create a more sustainable world. You don't need a big backyard to start gardening. Even if you live in an apartment, you can still grow herbs, tomatoes, and other small plants in containers. And if you're not sure where to start, there are plenty of resources available to help you get started. Tip six, use reusable products. Not only do reusable products save you money in the long run, but they also help reduce your environmental footprint. By using products that can be washed and reused, you're contributing to a more sustainable world and doing your part to reduce waste. There are so many reusable products available nowadays from cloth grocery bags and metal straws to washable makeup pads and reusable food containers. And the best part is that many of these products are affordable and easy to find. By making the switch to reusable products, you're also taking a step towards a more mindful and intentional lifestyle. You're no longer just mindlessly throwing away products after one use. You're actively making choices that benefit both yourself and the environment. And let's not forget about the convenience factor. Reusable products are often more durable and long lasting than their disposable counterparts. So you don't have to worry about constantly restocking your supplies. Tip seven plant-based eating. By incorporating more fruits, vegetables, legumes, and whole grains into your diet, you can not only save money on expensive meats and dairy products, but also improve your overall health and well-being. Plant-based eating has been shown to reduce the risk of chronic diseases such as heart disease, diabetes, and certain types of cancer. And don't worry, Plant-based eating doesn't have to mean boring salads every day. There are countless delicious and creative plant-based recipes out there that are just as satisfying and flavorful as their meat-based counterparts. By reducing your consumption of animal products and focusing on plant-based options, you're also doing your part to reduce your environmental impact. Animal agriculture is a major contributor to greenhouse gas emissions, deforestation, and water pollution. But don't just take our word for it. Try incorporating more plant-based meals into your diet and see how you feel. You may be surprised at how delicious and satisfying they can be, not to mention how much money you can save. Tip eight, upcycling and repurposing. Upcycling is the process of taking old, unwanted items and transforming them into something new and useful. Whether it's turning an old t-shirt into a trendy tote bag or repurposing an antique dresser as a statement piece in your home, the possibilities are endless. Not only does upcycling save you money by using items you already have, but it also helps reduce waste and promote sustainable living. By giving new life to old items, you're also adding you're also adding your own unique touch and personality to your home and wardrobe. Upcycling and repurposing also encourage creativity and imagination. Instead of just buying something new, challenge yourself to see potential in old items and find new ways to use them. Tip nine, energy efficiency. By implementing simple energy saving habits, like turning off lights and unplugging electronics when not in use, you can lower your energy usage and cut down on monthly bills. Switching to energy efficient light bulbs and appliances can also save you money in the long run. Not only does energy efficiency save you money, but it also has a positive impact on the environment. By reducing your energy consumption, 
you're contributing to a greener planet and helping to combat climate change. But energy efficiency isn't just about small changes at home. It's also about making conscious decisions when it comes to transportation and travel. Consider taking public transportation, carpooling, or biking instead of driving alone. When traveling, look for eco-friendly accommodations and activities that support sustainable tourism. By prioritizing energy efficiency in all aspects of your life, you're not only saving money, but you're also making a positive impact on the environment and future generations. Tip 10, digital resources. Gone are the days of expensive magazine subscriptions and physical books. With the rise of digital content, there are countless resources available at little to no cost. From ebooks and audiobooks and audiobooks to online courses and tutorials, the internet has an abundance of information at your fingertips. Not only can you save money by accessing digital resources, but you can also reduce your environmental impact by avoiding paper waste. Plus, digital content is often more convenient and accessible, allowing you to learn and grow at your own pace from the comfort of your own home. Another way to save money with digital resources is by utilizing apps and websites that offer discounts and coupons for online shopping. By doing a quick search, you can find deals and savings on everything from groceries to clothing and electronics. In addition to saving money, digital resources can also provide a sense of community and connection. Join online forums and social media groups to connect with like-minded individuals and share tips and advice on living a more frugal and sustainable lifestyle. So next time you're in need of information or inspiration, consider turning to digital resources. With a little bit of research, you can find a wealth of knowledge and savings at your fingertips. As we wrap up our list of frugal living tips for a post-pandemic world, we hope that these strategies will help you save money and live more sustainably. Remember being frugal doesn't have to mean sacrificing the things you love or the experiences that make life meaningful. Let's make a commitment to change our habits for the better and support a more sustainable future.